Okay, here's uh, here's the next one that people. I mean, it's been done. It, it got done a while ago. The, I think the first, everyone's first exposure to it, Bastion Salabanzi did a kickflip, crossfoot down a three stair for his first trick in Sari. And out of nowhere, everyone just decided that they're going to do every crossfoot variation they possibly could. Um, namely, uh, my friend uh, Josh, um, my friend K Guy on Instagram, you can follow him. If you scroll a little bit back, he did like the craziest variations. He did kickflip, crossfoot down a seven stair. I'm gonna do a couple myself. I don't really do this trick either, but for the sake of the video, I'll try a couple. And I haven't done that in so long. I thought no way you were gonna do it first try. Should I try it into the bank? Just land on it one foot, and then test the waters and put the other foot on. It's like that, exactly what I just said. People do this trick a lot of times, they do focus on one foot, and the other one just sort of dangles there. Oh, that was it. Basically, just like putting, so it's like dipping your toes in the board real quick. The water's cold. Well, you did it. I did, I did do it. I did it doing. Okay. Kickflip crossfoot. Kickflip crossfoot? Yeah. Oh yeah, you wanna do that? Or front shove crossfoot? Do a crossfoot trick. Well, if you ask, I, was, I was asking you to do it. Cause no. Well, Cause on your way over here, you're like, oh, I can kickflip crossfoot, it's no big deal. I have done them, but you do them. Don't put no, me on I the spot. I don't do kickflip crossfoot. I, like I have done them. Well, that's I've how I feel about it. I know, I've seen it on your Instagram. When I first met you, you posted one. You did it at whatchamacallit, too, actually. Your favorite skate park, Venice, wasn't it? Yeah, love that park. Literally worst skate park ever. She hates it. Let me see you try one. Okay. No, just a single. Okay. You did that really easy. Okay. See, a front shove one. Front shove one looks kind of cool because it looks like you almost 180, but your feet stay on the board. Yeah, she's got that garbage down. This is all about, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's all about just doing it. Yeah, the, and all like the late body barrels, just like the late body barrels, I should say, the crossfit stuff just all got ran through pretty quick. Like there was like a three year period where there was like a new trend on Instagram like every year and then everyone did all the variations and then the, it was just dead. It was just no more. Um, so the next one we're gonna do is uh, weird pinchy combo grinds. Which would be like... What are you gonna do? Oh, this is in the category where you can't do them. No, what do you mean? I do weird pinchy combo grinds. So like, yeah. I think everyone, you know, there was a point in time where five of us was pretty common. And then Fully Flared came out and they started doing like all kinds of like different combo tricks. And then like now we're at the point where people are just doing really bizarre combo tricks. So what I'm gonna do is I'll try to do, I'll do back feeble to switch Smith and then come back and do front feeble to switch back Smith. I don't think it's gonna take that long. The first one might take a second. So glad you're starting with it. Oh, I done that one. Oh, that's a good bit. Oh, you're gonna count that. Oh yeah, we are. Cause I don't feel like battling anything. First time I saw someone do one of those. It's actually Ray Barbie. Yeah, it was a full one video. The backside board side, grabbed melon, and yanked out into a bank of fakey. And then some random dude, he's probably not random, you probably know who he is. It's not these though, but someone who rides for enjoy. Uh, he did the same trick, melon grab, yank out the fakey. And then I started seeing people do the board side indie yank overs. Uh, and everyone was doing the indie, so I decided to start grabbing steelfish. So I'm actually more comfortable grabbing steelfish now than indie. But I started off with indie. Uh, so, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a hot. It was like I don't know if people are still doing them as much, but that one dude who rode for um, Welcome Skateboards, he had a video part where he did like every variation. He did like a hundred of them, and then that other guy. <laughs> what? I can't think of these people's fucking names. Like uh, what? You're just kind of like, oh yeah, hey that guy. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's the guy who rides for Pizza Skateboards. He does like um, he does like back winding nose grind yankovers and nose side yankovers. And then, like I said a second ago, that dude who's on, I don't know anyone's name, that guy who's on Welcome Skateboards, he had a video part come out on Thrasher where he did like a bunch of variations. He did like board side, indie grab, on like a kink rail to 50-50 down it. Maybe I'll try to find that footage, probably not. But you can just search Welcome Skateboards uh, board thrasher, part, thrasher board grab part. <laughs> uh, I think the last one that I'm gonna actually do today, there's like a bunch of random ones that I can think of that I just don't feel like getting too much into. Lots of crazy like Wally variations and Wally flip tricks. People doing like uh, like Wally pressure barrel heels and stuff like that. But one thing that I think is kind of trending right now that is fairly new is people putting a lot of emphasis on holding awkward grinds. Um, people sitting on front crooks and doing like ridiculously long kickflip back tails. Uh, tricks that have just been conventionally for the longest time, sort of tricks you tap on the end of the ledge or only slide for like a couple feet. And if anyone does it over anything significantly long, like over six foot, it was like a really big deal. Up until recently, um, everyone's just been greasing the shit out of everything, sitting on the grind, sitting on their pinches. And uh, that's been one of my favorite sides of skateboarding. Uh, and one of the first awkward grinds that I never expected to be able to hold that I saw get held was actually, um, we used to have a 22 foot long, maybe it's even longer than that, square flat bar at uh, my old local park on a pyramid. And Chris Markovich was there and he didn't land it, but he tried to front hurricane it a couple times and he front hurricane it like, I don't know, like maybe like 15 feet of it. And I remember being like, that is the craziest grind. Like, I can't believe someone like could sit on that trick. And at that point in time, I had front hurricanes like an eighth of their hand rail, but it was really just like a over rotated shifty that you tap the rail and come back. No one was really sitting on them. People have been doing hurricanes forever. Like Kendo Shimizu has been doing it on handrails forever, but no one was really like getting into them and sitting on them other than like one curbs and like fat square things. Um, Cause I know a lot of people might cite that, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Nottis part where he does like a long front hurricane on a curb and no one was sitting on on round bars. So I'm gonna try to just sit on a front hurricane on the flat bar and uh, then yeah, that'll be it. go to fake you but I'll do another one. So no comply, you take your front foot off and you bounce it against your thigh like this. People are doing whatever the hell this is there, they're going. Remember that? Ugh, that I hate that, it's disgusting. Yeah, that's how they would do it. So it's <laughs> Oh no, you gotta do it gnarly though. Okay. Oh, you did that good. That's it, I'm just trying it off the one stick. Oh, okay. I don't need to go flat. Okay. I did that down like a tent there. That's cool. <laughs> you gotta hurt yourself. I probably am. Yeah. Did I do it? No. Yep. That was it. Alright, down the one stand. Okay. Why did you forget how I just did it? Come on, you got it. There's no pop. No, we counted. That was exactly what the people wanted to say. Uh, and then straight no supplies downstairs. Once again, Ray Barbie, ahead of his time. I saw him do this in sight unseen, but uh, due to like a reemergence of it, everyone's been doing straight no supplies. So by that I mean just Haley and me. I'll try down the three, and I'm gonna try down the five. Half the people aren't doing them right. 
because they like they do a hop, take their foot off, and then do it. it it's got to be one motion. Oh, you did it next to the gap. Should I do it down the I'll try one down the five. Yeah. Man, I haven't done one down anything in a while. Yeah, me neither. You did one down a five sec yesterday. I did. Ah, that was so bad, but I did it. Which leads us into our next uh, and possibly final trick, if I don't think anymore. And that is something that is definitely very recent. And that's people doing the no comply variations without putting the foot on the ground. Oh, but the Ron Allen Ollie, he did it. Well, we're not talking about Ron Allen, okay? We're talking about the backside 360 and the frontside 360 and frontside 180 versions of the one foot. I don't think those exist. I don't think those should be called no complies at all. What but that's just my are? opinion. I don't know, different, uh, like literally what the trick is already named. Cause just cause you're taking your foot off your board, which you already do for most tricks anyways, doesn't make it like, oh, now it's a no comply. Cause my foot is a little bit further from the board, even though it doesn't touch the ground. So you're saying it should be a 180 alley north. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. That would make more sense. Oh, definitely. That, 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 right here, right? That's 180 alley north. Yeah, how would that not be? How would that be? <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Why, why don't people just call it that? Why do they say no comply? <laughs> I think because it sounds cooler. Uh, maybe, but I think also people are terrible with skateboarding semantics. The straight one's hard. I've only done one like twice. You Let's can't see. ollie north? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> there it is. Oh, you did it. <laughs> Um, yeah, the people did a one where they ollie like this, hence there. I've only seen you and Steve Mole do those tricks. Really? Yeah, but I still don't watch skating, so. That a girl. Obviously, there's tricks that I forgot. If you feel that I forgot a good one or one that is more obvious, just let me know. Maybe I'll do a part two, or maybe I'll include a trick that you did. Maybe you came up with something that's like pretty new or a concept that hasn't been seen before. Uh, if it's something pretty significant, feel free to leave a comment of where I could find said trick. Or if you've seen one where you're like, oh, whoa, that's a thing. Oh, there's actually this thing. The power slide laid stuff. Uh, I got, it's gonna be really hard for me to find. It's like really deep in Metrogram. But this one guy would go, make a power slide like this, but scoop that into a back three. Kane kind of does tricks like that. No, oh. no, 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 no. It's not like, it's not like that oh. or anything like that. Like this guy. And then scoop a popped back three in one motion to where it looks like he did a fake 540, but the ollie is late. Like it looks crazy. The only variation that I can kind of play with is I was trying to learn this whole while ago. Okay. Something like that. Uh -huh. But he was doing like crazy variations. Like he did one. I want to say he did that and then backside 360 with a big spin. So the board ends up doing like a 720. He does a back high 40. Is he like bombing a hill or is like No, it's on flat. And it looks fucking really cool. I think he did one with a kickflip too where he did like that and back three kickflip and it just looks insane and pop. I'll try to find it. If I can't find it though, which is very possible because it's deep, please leave a comment of the link of where I can find it. In fact, yeah, just leave a comment of the link where I can find that clip because I really want to watch that again. That shit was insane. I'd love to try to figure that out. But yeah, there's new tricks we invented all the time. A lot of them are variations. It's a lot of people standing on the shoulders of giants. But like those railies, those are fairly new. No one was doing those. People figuring out how to slappy ledges where it has doesn't have a face, which I didn't even do. Thought of one last thing. It's most likely the thumbnail of this video and that is the board slide manuals where people will do a board slide and they'll lean either hard on the heels and lift up the front or they'll lean hard on their toes and lift up their back. I haven't really played too much with either of these, so it'll be kind of a fun little learning experience, but I think I can do it. Um, you can do it without deck rails, but it probably doesn't look as exaggerated. Uh, obviously I have deck rails because I'm a cheater. So here we go. First I'll do board slide manual and then I'll do board slide nose manual and we'll see how long it takes to learn.
That just felt like a lot, like I was doing a board side hurricane and I just don't go to hurricane. Uh, the nose manual one, however, seems like it's gonna be kind of awkward. So my rail on my toe side is too close to the edge to really get a good teeter. It's actually like holding me back. I'd actually be able to teeter it further if I didn't have a rail. So I'm just gonna do it with my board backwards so I can stick it more up and exaggerate it more. Uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever done this trick, so this should be fun. Just for funsies, I'm only gonna try a couple of them. I'm gonna try front board versions of it. So first I'll do front board to I guess like, what is in my head seems like it would be a switch manual, but it's just- Toe side. Toe side, slide backwards manual style. It's like and you're carving I'll... down the mountain toe side on a snowboard. Yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah that, these should be called snowboard slides. Edging. Edging. <laughs> it's not gonna come on this trick. Yeah. All right, now the one that's definitely gonna be the hardest. Front board, backwards, heel side thingy. I'll try to go, can we do like, kind of like- You can't do that on a snowboard or else you're gonna die on the mountain. Yeah, this, mountain. Is the, this is the eat shit, eat shit snowboard trick. Yeah. Pretty counterintuitive. This is catching the edge. I think it's funny that one that I let my rail hit. I was like, oh, like I whacked, like I like scraped on a manual. Uh -huh. Like I clipped on the way out. Uh, obviously the only thing left for me to do is to do a combo where I do backboard, heel, and then cut her nose. Oh yeah, obviously. I mean, that's so obvious. Uh -huh. I, I will say what's kind of fun about these is it's almost like three-dimensional manualing where there's different ways that you can like whack because when you go like this, it very much so wants you to go to hurricane or willy grind. Like, so you, it wants you to teeter one of these ways, but also like, I guess it's okay to scrape here, mm -hmm. but you can't let this touch. So you're just kind of like trying to fight this. I want to go to like a rail, like a long flat bar. Like I, I wish I would have thought of trying these at, um, What's your call that we were at West yesterday? Westchester? No. Um, Carmel Valley. No. Poods. Poods. There we go. And try to like nose manual down that long rail. Or like board slide nose manual. The one that I did the board side hurricane. Oh, hurricane. oh yeah. That'd yeah, that thing's so slick though. That, that's why I think it would definitely work. Mm. But yeah, that was fun. I don't know. I feel like all of a sudden doing the nose manual ones, it makes me think I would be a lot better at doing like the front board to front feebles and stuff. Like the oh, like, I never played with. like pressure flipping out of that. No. What? <laughs> How do you get that information out of what I just said? I don't know. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the end of the video. But like I said, if you think of any other ones, I do want to do a part two. I want to do uh, possibly, you know, ones with tricks that I could never do. Ones that maybe tricks that came out, someone did, and then no one else ever did again. So if you have any ideas or crazy tricks that you've seen, by all means, suggest them to me because I want to make more of these. These are really fun to do. There aren't any tricks you can't do. <laughs> I got to pee so bad. Okay, goodbye. Oh.